Hello everyone, so a short update on the Iranian missile strike on Nevatim Air Base in Israel here. Satellite imagery has dropped, a before and an after. These first satellite images were shared by Aura Intel on Twitter. This first one is quite zoomed out showing the base overall. Now it's difficult to tell for sure because of cloud shadows, which give the impression of damage. But there is one section that does show discolorization. Let's zoom in a bit. So you can see on the before and after, some discolorization, which isn't cloud, appears in this part of the base. Let's have a look at the image. The before is on the left, the after is on the right. So the discolorization is around a cluster of buildings. The buildings themselves look fine on this image, so it seems that Iran launched hundreds of drones and missiles, costing many hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, to basically turn the ground a different shade of brown. Well done. This image, shared by Sam Syria on Twitter, is a little bit clearer, showing clear burning around the target area, so this confirms this is the part that was hit, and also possibly some damage to the smaller building to the right. I think I'd have caused more damage really by dropping my Nokia on the base. Here is the area hit on Google Maps. Now, I've no idea what part of the base this is and what these buildings are for. The big one looks to be an administration building of some kind, with sort of solar panels on top, but I can't say for sure. It isn't an aircraft hangar, as there's no access for aircraft. The small building looks like it may have got some damage on the northern part, and again, no idea what this is. There's no access for airplanes, it doesn't seem hugely important to me. From what I can tell, it is a multi-story building, two or three floors, so it could be some other types of offices or that sort of thing. And of course, this is satellite imagery from the top looking down, so there may be damage to the side of the buildings that just doesn't show up, shrapnel and that sort of thing. But it seems clear that the damage isn't extensive. Here's another image shared, this one claiming to show damage to the taxiway. It's actually been shared online as being damaged to the runway, but this isn't a runway, it's a taxiway. And it could be a crater, but it could also be a reflection or a cloud. This one is hard to tell. It being white like that doesn't bring to mind the typical impact crater that we see. But then I'm more familiar with impact strikes in Russia and in Ukraine. So it could just be that, you know, it's blasted away the concrete and this whiteness is the ground underneath the runway. But I can't tell for sure. But if this is a crater, then it's hardly major damage. Firstly, again, it's not the runway, it's a taxiway. And secondly... Holes like this are very quick fixes. During the Falklands, when Britain bombed the runway on the Falklands Islands when Argentina was occupying it, Argentina got the runways up and running again within hours with the holes filled and covered. So it's looking like this attack by Iran was a massive damp squib. They made the ground a darker shade of brown, possibly broke some windows, and maybe damaged a small building whose purpose we don't know. And then possibly a crater in a taxiway which I suppose this lack of damage will minimise Israel's response somewhat, given no damage was caused other than maybe a mole's house getting caved in. I expect Israel will hit Iran, but not as big as they would if this attack actually caused major damage. But we are going to have to wait and see. So, that's it for this video. I'm sure Israel won't forget this lesson in a hurry. Mess with Iran, and they'll waste over 300 drones and missiles to change the colour of your soil. Honestly, it would have been less embarrassing for Iran if it just hadn't bothered. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much and take care everyone.